Welcome to another episode of Ankle Saw and a preview of round 11. If you're enjoying the channel as much as we enjoy making the videos, please hit that like and subscribe button as it really helps us out. So let's get started with the first game of the round. Friday night, 7.50 SCG, Sydney versus Carlton. I'm going to make a big statement here. If Carlton don't win this one, Michael Voss should be sacked. I think he should be sacked anyway, but this is the one. Sydney are, like, they've got so many injuries, it's not funny. Struggled to uh, beat North Melbourne, but for a lucky free kick, they would have lost that one too. So I think Carlton are just, they're broken, absolutely broken. I don't know any other way to explain it. Um, to be honest, I'm expecting Carlton to lose because that's what Carlton do. But on the other hand, Carlton also beat up weak teams because that's all they can do. So, Carlton win this one, unless there's a miraculous eight Sydney Inns, Rampy, the McCartan brothers. Um, if any of them play this week, I think Sydney get them. But if not, I think Carlton win this one. On to Saturday, 1.45 at Marvel Stadium, it's St Kilda versus Hawthorne. Uh, I think the Saints win this one. I think with Max with Max King back, they they just get over Hawthorne. Even though Hawthorne did all right last week, but you can't judge them on beating West Coast. Who they wouldn't be the VFL side at the moment, West Coast. So I reckon St Kilda just too strong for Hawks at the moment. Um, love what the Hawks are doing, but St Kilda are just too strong. So another Saturday game, one forty-five at the MCG, Melbourne versus Fremantle. AFL, please do not schedule games at the same time. I don't know why they keep doing this. It's ridiculous. But anyway, on to the game. So Melbourne and Freo will be playing for the Luke Jackson Cup, um, who's going to be an, he's going to be a massive part of this game. Because I think Freo win. Straight up, Freo beat Melbourne. Oliver out for Melbourne. I can't see... Jeez, Sarong and Brayshaw just... Uh, They'll control that midfield. Viney would want to step up after last week. He had a terrible game. Petrarca was pretty ordinary last week. So a lot depends on those two. And Gon and Grundy see if they can um, if they can test the Freo back line. Jeez, I, I love Freo's run. I was hard on them a few weeks back. Um, but since then, their run and dares come back. You know, what they were sort of doing last, last year um, when they surprised everyone and made the finals. So... I think Freo win this one. It won't be easy. Melbourne coming back after a bad loss to Port Adelaide. Um, they need to win this one just to stay in contention at top four. So, but yeah, my tip's Freo. Saturday, 4.35, GMHBA Stadium, Geelong versus GWS. The fishbowl, Geelong win. That's it. Dangerfield comes back. Duncan will come back. In their comfort zone. Again, GWS will be plucky. But Geelong will just win. I actually hope they don't. Because I hate that they play down there. Because it's, it's actually... The fact that they play in a, in a fishbowl, it's like that. It's like a cricket pitch almost, right? The AFL just allow them to do it. They're the only team. Every, every other ground's very similar. Give or take a couple of metres. Like even the SCG back in the day was tiny, but they expanded it. So, uh, yeah, Geelong win this one. So on to Saturday night at TIO Stadium, 6.45. Gold Coast Suns versus the Western Bulldogs. Uh, geez, it's always, always slippery up in um, the Northern Territory there when they play these games. Hmm. I think the Gold Coast, they're used to those conditions. The Bulldogs have won a few in a row. Bound to drop one. They're going all right. Um... But they have played up there in the past. This is a tough one. I'll say the Gold Coast just, just, absolutely just by less than a kick. Um, but the Bulldogs wouldn't surprise me if they got the points. So, yeah, interesting game. Very interesting game. Also, Saturday night up the stadium at 7.30. It's West Coast versus Essendon. Essendon win. Move on. Nothing to see. West Coast are hopeless. Couldn't be a VFL side. It's just a waste of time at the moment. Um, Adam Simpson, he'll be sacked after this game, so they play Saturday night. If not Sunday, Monday, he'll be sacked 
guaranteed. Been saying that for six weeks. If they don't start winning games, that was six weeks ago. He'll be sacked by mid-year. Watch our previous episodes if you don't believe me, but um, yeah, he'll be sacked within a week or two. But I think it'll happen Sunday or Monday. They can't continue like this. It's not totally his fault, but the coach is always the first one to go when there's bad results. So they can't sack 42 players. So coach is always the one to go. So unfortunately, Adam, start looking for a new job. There'll be plenty because Carlton should have a position. Richmond will have a position. Interesting. So Sunday, 110 MCG, it's Richmond versus Adelaide. Another interesting game with uh, Damien Hardwick standing aside. Um, he says he's burnt out. He's had 14 years at Richmond. He's left a lasting legacy there. He's been amazing. Won three premierships in four years. Built that club. Um, they were hopeless when he got there. Um, he's built it up to what it is today. Well done, Damien. Congratulations. Um, I think he'll coach again, but it's yet to be determined. I think he's an Alistair Clarkson type where... He had enough, took some time off, and just wanted to get back into it again. So, but onto the game. Jeez. This is really tough, really tough. I think Richmond might, they, they just might leave a parting gift for Damien and, and, and win this one. Port of 1 7 on the trot. Tough to win eight, especially coming down to Melbourne. They had a big game last uh, last Friday night against uh, Melbourne. So I think Richmond get them here. They're very unlucky to lose a Dreamtime game. But I think they bounce back and give Damien Hardwick a parting gift. Sunday, 3.20, Marvel Stadium, Collingwood versus North Melbourne. How can you tip against Collingwood at the moment? Seriously. Uh, I just want to see North compete like they did last week. I don't think they're any chance of winning. Um, I just want to see them compete and be competitive for you know most of the game. Collingwood just too good here. Uh, they win comfortably. Again, North Melbourne, just have a go. That, that's all we're asking. Brett Ratton's a, a good coach, I, th I think. I think he's loosened the straps a bit um, since Clarkson's left. Um, or temporary left, sorry. Uh, I think he's he was trying to teach him too much too quickly, Alice there. Uh, but Rats, he's come in and you saw last week he just you know with Wardlaw in the middle and she's on the ball. It's just it's just changed the dynamic of the club. So uh, let's hope North have a, have a good crack and but Collingwood win this one. And the last game of the round Sunday four forty Adelaide Oval Adelaide versus Brisbane. I think Adelaide can get them here. I think if they can shut down the midfield of uh, Will Ashcroft, Lockie Neal and Dunkley, they can win this one. The only other concern I've got is Charlie Cameron and Joe Danaher. They can kick four or five each. I'm not sure Adelaide can stop them, but do they and the likes, Mitch Hinge, those, those blokes down back. Big task this week. But I think it's going to be one in the midfield, to be honest. Uh, Brisbane don't tend to have a, a stopping defender, so I think Rankin can get off the off the leash and kick three or four. Um, love Adelaide's forward line, love it. Hopefully Taylor Walker comes back, that'll help. But yeah, I think Adelaide can get them. And there you have it, our preview of round 11. Comment down below on who you think might win this week, and we'll see you on the next one.